All right. Hey there, everyone. Steve Gonza, physical therapist here, and I want to talk to you guys. I just had some patients. I just got done actually treating patients today, and I want to share with you some things that I talked about with them about glute strength and injuries because we did find more runners today who are injured because of weak glutes. I think it's under helpful for you to understand why the glutes are so important um, and why technically like really no one ever hurts their glutes. Like no one ever strains their glute like they strain a calf muscle or get tendonitis to their glutes. It does happen occasionally, but it's far less common than what we're seeing, which is knee issues, ankle issues, and things. So what I'm going to share with you in here today is all about the glutes and, and why they're so important to target. I'll talk a little about how to do that as well. Um, real quick, if you want some help with your own glute strength, maybe you're struggling with injuries or you want to get stronger, check out the link in this post. There's a $1 or two-week trial to the workouts that I suggest using. You're looking for base three and base six boot camp are the best places to start. Uh, if any of our runners who are watching this uh, do those workouts and you like them, go ahead and just give us a little promo in uh, the comments so people understand that the workouts are helpful. Um, so I want to just cover real quick, I'm going to show you, this is exactly what I did with a runner today in the clinic when we were going through treatment. And I'm gonna show you this video I've been using a couple times. I'm just kind of lazy and don't wanna go dig through, but this is very common. So I just wanna show you this runner quick and just talked about, okay, his foot's about to hit the ground here. As soon as he hits, it's really important just to kind of outline that there's a couple muscles and areas that fire. While a lot of areas are firing throughout the body, the big thing that we're gonna see, oh boy, this is probably not gonna work out like I have, like I have planned. Hold on one sec, I'm gonna go ahead and just delete that. We're gonna see a couple things fire. You're gonna see everything in the core fire. You're gonna feel the glute fire and really this whole leg is what's firing to keep the body up and supported. So when we look at the glutes and we wanna know, okay, why are the glutes so important to just keeping everything at bay and preventing a lot of injury? It's because of this. Look at the size of these suckers. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this down. So I had a runner come in today with piriformis syndrome. So I'll talk about that and just some other runner injuries in general. But when we look at the glutes themselves, this is called your glute max. You have one on both sides. It's a big, powerful pusher muscle. And you have your glute meds on the outsides of that. So we have two glute muscles I'm showing now. If we just dissect glute max away, you're gonna see some deeper muscles inside that hip. We dissect away even more. So again, this is the glute, ma uh, glute medius. It's a huge pelvic stabilizer. And we dissect that away. You have a third glute muscle, which is called glute minimus. We dissect that away. And now we're looking at the deep muscles of the hip. So this is the piriformis muscle. Maybe you guys experienced piriformis injuries in the past. But what I wanna show you is how, if you just look at this in general, I think the key concept, and this is what I told my patient today who was dealing with piriformis syndrome, again, this doesn't matter if it's piriformis, Achilles, knee pain, whatever. I want you to just look at the magnitude of the size between the two muscle groups, because if the glutes start to fail because they're weak, they're inactive, they're turned, quote unquote, turned off, if the glutes aren't working, the responsibility of your glutes goes elsewhere. And this is what I was telling him. The responsibility of his glutes was going into his piriformis. It's going into your Achilles. It's going into your calf, your knee, whatever it might be. Because when you hit the ground, you need those glutes to be nice and strong. So if we go back to this, take a quick, a quick peek. Here's the piriformis muscle outline. Look at the size of that sucker versus the size of your glute max and the size of your glute med. They're way different in size. When, when these muscles in your glutes don't do their responsibility, he's picking up the slack. So I went through an exam with this runner. We looked at a couple different tests, like a single leg squat test and different strength exercises, really bad control on his left side. And that's what the really cool thing about the base three and base six boot camp. Um, if you check those out, there's a link in this post. They'll actually test a lot of the stuff and you'll start noticing like when you do an exercise on one side versus the other side, it feels a lot different. There's weakness on one side compared to the other side. And those weaknesses start to cause uh, force to bleed into other areas of the body. So whether it's your piriformis, whether it's your Achilles, whether it's your calf, whether it's your knee, going after the glutes is critical. Now here's the problem with that for most people is when they think glute strength, they've been taught over the years through publications and through other people is that they need to be doing clamshells, they need to be doing leg lifts, they need to be doing bridges and donkey kicks and all these open chain exercises. But we need your strength to mimic your function. This is what we do in our base three and base six boot camp, our yogas, our, our, our different uh, programs that we have on Run Smart Online is we try to marry the exercises to the sport of running. Like these exercises are for runners. So let me uh, show you what I mean. Think about clamshells, bridges, leg lifts. You're on the ground, you're swinging your leg around, your leg is moving on your body. But when you're running, this is what you need to know, is that your body 
is moving on your leg. Like the foot is fixed to the ground here. You're gonna come over that foot. These muscles are working with the foot on the ground. So that's how you wanna train them. You need to train the muscles like you use them in sport and you use them in sport with your foot on the ground. So that's why we are very, if you're gonna strength train your glutes, maybe at the very, I'm not gonna say in absolutes, so you never need clamshells, you never need bridges, but I'm gonna tell you more often than not, those things will not get you to where you wanna be with your running. You need to be more functional, more runner specific in your strength training. But again, go back to the size of those suckers. They are big muscles. If you have an injury and you're not targeting and working on glute strength, or if you're just injury prone, you need to go after these things. Now there's a link in this post if you wanna try what I have, which is a, a, so a 36 plus strength workouts. There's injury management stuff in there, but uh, you can access in this weekend, try the programs. I recommend if you're gonna get started, once you sign up, you'll have instant access to this stuff. A uh, base three bootcamp is our preliminary program where we're gonna get you stronger by teaching you some different movements and things. That's six workouts of about 30 minutes a piece. That transition to the base six, which is our flagship program, which is really tough. Uh, that's why we made base three. But base six is a program that is glute heavy, strength heavy, functional heavy, uh, core heavy. It's a great program if you're strong, but we, we recommend starting with base three. So check those out if you want some help with your glute strength. But re just remember, it's not clamshells, it's not bridges, it's not leg lifts. It's by training the muscles like you use them in life, all right? All right, I'll probably be back. I have one more thing I want to show you guys probably later tonight. Depends on the kiddos in that situation. But I hope everyone's well. And uh, go strengthen those glutes. Bye, guys.